What's up everybody, it's Gone Turbo here. This is Skyrim Special Edition on Xbox One. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you my June 2019 load order. I've been working on this load order for the last couple of months. My channel, I admit, has not been active lately because I've been focusing on creating this load order. I recognize that from about November to March, there weren't a lot of mods coming out on the Xbox One for Skyrim that provided any visual changes. But over the last couple of months, there have been a handful that have come out that I've wanted to give a really good thorough try. So in this video, I do have a couple of changes from my last load order. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that uh, my load order kind of builds each time on on the previous. So some of these mods that have come out recently, I have incorporated into this load order. And in addition to that, uh, I have had to try to make sure that my storage space was was uh, able to fit some of these changes. So, with that being said, I want to go through my load order, and I'm only going to talk about the mods specifically that affect uh, the look of Skyrim. My aim, my goal in modding Skyrim primarily is to create a beautiful looking game, the best that I can, through uh, through Xbox One mods. And uh, I'm just going to highlight those um, specifically in this load order. I also have a copy of this load order in the description as well. So here we are at the top of the load order. And uh, as I go down, um, and as you look at the uh, the description, um, I use the Dropbox load order document as a, as a guide to sorting mods. So at the top of my load order, I have and use the graphics pack, assets 1 and 2, and uh, the add-on static mesh <clears throat> as part of this as well. I really find that no matter what graphic overhaul mods um, exist out there or have come out over the last few years, I find the graphics pack is, in my opinion, um, the best and most lore-friendly uh, graphics type of pack that, that exists out there. After that, I have Ruins Clutter Improved. This is a big file size, and I contemplated whether keeping this in my load order or not, but it does retexture a lot of the, or I should say pretty much all of the clutter that is inside Ruins, and it looks really, really great. Um, High Poly Project. Some of you have recommended that, that I that I try this, and uh, I have it in my load order, and I, I do see a difference with... Um, with this with this mod, so I'm happy that it is in my load order here. Uh, graphics pack, graphics pack, high poly project patch. Just making sure that it all works nicely together. <clears throat> One of the things that I don't care for regarding the graphics pack is the the walls of white run. So this is a uh, white run stone wall mod that just changes it up a little bit. For my landscape overhaul, I keep coming back to rustic lands. I just find that um, there's a nice variation of, of textures, uh, blends well together, um, isn't too overwhelmingly gaudy or too plain and boring. It's it's just, just right in the middle for my taste. So um, if you haven't checked out rustic lands ever, then uh, give it a try. The quality is really good, and I just think it's nice and balanced overall. In terms of other types of, of textures, um, Skyland Towns and Villages, I keep coming back to this one even after trying every kind of town and village uh, mod that exists. So towns and villages, if you think about like farmhouses and the wood of, of inns, um, <clears throat> this changes that type of wood. And uh, it also, however... Um, changes the interior of some of those buildings as well and uh, I think it just looks fantastic. Imperial Skyland Imperial Forts and Dungeons changes to those types of, of buildings and textures. Um, caves, Mines, and Nordic Tombs and Ruins. T4GTR34UM3R is uh, the mod author of these um, these mods and I think even though they're a big file size, by far, in my opinion, the best quality um, uh, graphic improvements to to these kinds of these specific areas throughout the world. 
further down in terms of um, some different kinds of overhauls. I do want to give a quick mention to Divine Cities. People have asked, some of you asked me this in regards to this mod. I found that at first, uh, and even testing this when it first came out a long time ago, um, it caused my game to crash. If you give it some time, I don't know, it seems to kind of, everything kind of seems to fall into place um, and work well. I haven't had any problems with it this in my load order. Um, and I think I re remember reading somewhere that once, uh, and I, I could be wrong, but once NPC processes reset, then things work better. Um, so I don't know, but it's been going fine with, with Divine Cities. But if you are having problems, then maybe consider not using Divine Cities. I just want to give a mention to sound overhauls that I've used forever, immersive sounds and reverb and ambience overhaul. As for weather and lighting, I feel this is the bread and butter of the way your game looks. No matter what graphics mods you use, uh, what really changes the game up in my opinion is your weather and lighting mod. So, um, <clears throat> if you've seen any of my other videos, I talk a lot about Obsidian. I also talk about uh, Mythical Ages. Um, I've had uh, videos on other weather and lighting mods that I like or have have uh, opinions on. And my last load order video highlighted more of uh, Mythical Ages. And in this video, I'm coming back to Obsidian Weathers and Seasons. I find this to be, as I've gone back and forth, more consistent amongst different types of weathers. So within uh, any given day in Skyrim, or any type of weather at any time of day, I feel Obsidian uh, looks makes any randomness of weather um, look better than, than other lighting and weather mods. Not sure if that makes sense, but if you think about any time of day, any type of lighting, any type of weather, um, and let's say uh, Obsidian boasts 90, 90 weathers within this mod. Um, more of those weathers look better, in my opinion, than weathers in other weather mods. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, Obsidian Weathers is a small file size. It's, it's natural. Um, there's options to make some tweaks in some settings, and uh, it has a seasonal effect as well. So um, I think I'm going to do another video on, uh, on, on weather mod updates. So maybe I'll talk a little bit more about that at, the, uh, at that time. So I use Obsidian Weathers and Seasons. I use True Storms, and I use the Obsidian Weathers True Storms patch, and this is the spectral version of, of the True Storms patch. Minty's Lightning During Storms, and Better Skies, which came out recently, and I'm trying to see if there's a difference in the way the game looks. I think it does. It seems to be a little bit more sharp uh, in the Skies Aurora. Um, it says Better Sunsets. I'm not seeing a huge difference between what, you know, with, with or without this, but um, I think the sky and cloud textures look a little bit, a little bit better. So I think it's doing something. <laughs> Okay, further on down, some foliage overhauls. All right, in terms of improvements, Divine Forests, uh, White Run Forest Borealis adds trees to White Run. HD Photorealistic Ivy, Ivy increases, uh, improves the graphics texture of Ivy. Um, Cathedral Concepts, lightweight grass overhaul. I This was part of my test is these Cathedral Concept mods. So this one is just specifically the grass overhaul. And... I tried this, I, 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 I deleted it, I went back to it, and um, it talks about being built for Obsidian Weathers and Seasons, and uh, I just think it looks, it looks fantastic. Um, it does, it, it looks very natural, um, there's a lot of variation, um, and uh, I think it just looks really, really great. Just, just, just really natural throughout the whole world, wherever you are, at whatever part of the map. Um, lush overhaul, dense grass. I'm not sure if dense grass affects cathedral concepts, but I, I always keep this in my load order anyway. Okay, going on to some other visual mods here. 
Um, I have a number of these immersive kinds of mods. And then I get into a section of more graphic types of types of mods here. Northfire Photoreal Mountains. Absolutely love this mod. I think it's uh, one of the. I think it's the best mountain replacer that exists. Nordic Snow. Lock picking interface redone. Septum HD coins. Smoking torches seems to be taken down, but again, not an overhaul of any kind. All right, detailed rugs by Razor FX. Uh, this mod increases the resolution of not only rugs, but certain types of tapestries that hang in um, player homes and certain kinds of buildings. Um, so it's a little bit of a bigger file, 40 megabytes, but um, uh, I do use this as my um, rug <laughs> overhaul. All right, enhanced blood texture mods here in this order. More blood and gore, enhanced blood textures, better blood splatters, enhanced blood textures, darker. Designs of the Nords, my favorite banner replacer mod. I think it's the most lore friendly. Um, display enhancements. So for this load order, I increase uh, saturation two times, increase contrast once, and I add a little bit of red tint, I think I think once. So it's not a lot. Um, but what is important to adjust, in my opinion, with weather and lighting mods is your brightness within the game menu itself. Not so much brightness with display enhancements, but in the game itself. So give that a try first. Adjust your brightness in-game. Um, even before you get into adding a lot of contrast or reducing contrast, go with brightness first before you start messing with, even with, with contrast. In this load order, I set the brightness in the menu, in the main menu of the game to to center, and I click right, uh, it's like, like three or four times. Um, and again, that's my display, but yours might be different. Um, if you have a darker uh, setup in with your display, um, then um, you might want to go a little bit further to the right from center. Dynamic, dynamically disabled eye adaptation and bloom. I disable bloom and enable eye adaptation. And that helps with some of the dark areas not getting too washed out. All right, a couple of music mods here. You can see I don't have one selected. I've been using and playing with Game of Thrones music replacer. Um, Skyrim music is definitely one that I will keep no matter what. Um, once I get a little tired of the Game of Thrones music replacer, I'll delete it. 73 megabytes, pretty big size. But I love the music a lot, and I don't know when I'll delete it or if I ever will. But um, if it's not your thing, then definitely check out Skyrim music at 16.8 megabytes. Okay, a couple of other overhauls for visuals, uh, Dragon Remains, font overhaul, my only female or even male or any character texture tweak is uh, texture tweaks, female face edits. Um, this just replaces textures, doesn't replace body meshes. And uh, I've tried I've tried so many other body replacers. Uh, my favorite one was taken down uh, a long time ago. Um, uh, Maidens of Skyrim was was one of the names of it, uh, but this one has always been my was always my second favorite, and um, it looks really good compared to some of these huge megabyte size of 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 uh, body replacers, especially for the for the females. Um, so give it a shot uh, if it's something that you want to um, want to improve females, um, then I would recommend this one. I had a hair replacer that was has been taken down um i don't know it was like like natural hair or something like that <laughs> drug or horrific textures all right as we get into some other major 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 overhaul mods you will see that in this load order i have armors and clothing overhaul um redone i believe maybe um also known as opulent i called this opulent armors when i tested it in a different uh um video Somebody recommended that I revisit this. I did, and I do feel, and I'd gone back to Old Kingdom Armors, which is another amazing mod, that this mod 
is the armors are, in my opinion, superior to um, Old Kingdom. Yes, I'm sorry, but I think they are. This also improves clothing and many other types of of um, things characters wear. So, um, outfits, clothing, robes, um, armors, and even some weapons. So, I've been playing with this mod and I really, really like it. Uh, one thing I don't like is the... Um, the Elven armor, I believe, has like this Tron blue kind of look to it. Um, so I put black and gold Elven armor below this, and sometimes it seems to affect it and sometimes it doesn't, so I'm not really sure. But I can get away with it um, because you get so much more good quality in, in, other, in every other uh, clothing piece. Um, Practical Armors does a couple of different things, but one thing it does that I why I have it in this load order is um, it edits the chest plate for female armors. So it always kind of was weird to me that um, some of the female armors looked like painted on, if you know what I'm saying, and uh, um, just didn't look like that that would really kind of be the case. <laughs> um, so this just makes it a little, little more normal looking, I guess. <laughs> it also helps with some of the issues around some of the clothing, and as the mod authors say, no longer seeing mammary, mammary glands, so there you go there. Okay, Fashions of the Fourth Era, Fashions of the Fourth Era I love because it changes up clothing for characters, so they're not wearing the same outfit all the time. It changes throughout the course of the day, or, you know, each day kind of thing. All right, a couple other armor mods that I like, Chainmail Hoods, AC Crusader Armor, Improved close face Helmets, a number of weapons mods here that I've had my load order for quite some time and I do use Old Kingdom weapon overhaul so I highly recommend that one for the Old Kingdoms the, the Old Kingdom mods. Interior lighting I've been trying luminosity lighting overhaul uh, it is vanilla lighting with ELFX inspired palette so things are a little bit more a little bit more orange in the interior um, but I think it looks nice it's not overly overly orange and since I'm only increasing with Obsidian Weathers a, a little bit of saturation, it's not too overwhelming. You got to make sure whatever interior exterior lighting mod you're using that uh, if you're messing around with some of the settings, um, you got to make sure you test both interior and, and exterior. So I like it. It's light and there's no problems with f flashing and flickering and things like that. So... Um, that is my load order with uh, graphics and texture improvements. Oh, I forgot to mention um, Realistic Waters too. There's been a number of water mods that have come out over the last few months, and um, I still keep going back to Realistic Waters too. I think it's the best one out there. That's the end of my load order. The rest of this video shows what this load order looks like, and I tried to incorporate some different um, some different objects and some different uh, places in the map. Um, so, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. This has been Gone Turbo. I'll talk to you again soon. Darkness has
Oh, 